Hi everyone, hope you're all keeping well. Today I want to encourage you again and let you know that God is faithful. Thank you for this opportunity. I thank God too for this opportunity to talk with you, just to encourage you because we all need someone to encourage each other. We all need to encourage. You can encourage me and I can encourage you. That's how we build and that's how we get strong in God. So today I want to talk with you about what God says, what Jesus says, that he is the bread of life and he is the living water. Do you know that we need spiritual food, we need spiritual water to grow as we need natural water, as we need natural food to get strong and get big. And as soon as we get born into this world, we drink milk and we get bigger and bigger and then we eat solids and then we daily need the water and we get stronger. And if we don't eat this kind of food, if you don't nourish, get the nourishment you need, you become very weak and you become sick. So just like that, our life, we have a spiritual being in, inside of us. Not only our physical body, but there's a spiritual person inside of us, your spiritual self. We need the food too. We need that feeding. We need to eat that solid spiritual food and we need to drink the milk or we need to drink water, the living water. So in John chapter 6 verse 35, Jesus says, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry. And whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. But as I told you, you have seen me and still you do not believe. And those the Father gives me will come to me. And whoever comes to me, I will never drive away. So Jesus is saying that he is the bread of life. He is our bread and that he is our living water. So if we need that spiritual energy, that if we need to grow spiritually, we need to eat the spiritual bread of life, that is Jesus, and his spiritual living water. So we're going to talk and discuss more about it, then how it's important to have that spiritual feeding every day of our life. We, do we have a day that we don't eat anything or drink anything? Rarely, only when we are fasting or something that we don't want to eat. But daily, kids, adults, all of us, we eat. We need that feeding. We, f we can try to lose weight and not eat, but end of the day, you'll be hungry and you eat more than you plan to eat. So we need that spiritual feeding as well as we need our natural feeding. So we'll discuss more about it today. You know that daily we get from um, media, from TV, from the world, from people around, we get all this feeding. We get not only food that we eat, but all this feeding of information and technology information and things that people are doing, people are trying and different things we get fed. And sometimes if we focus more about the worldly things of media and TV and uh, so many dramas and so many other things our mind will get filled with these worldly things and there won't be room for spiritual things so that's why God asks us to be connected to him like a connection between a wine and um, the, the grapes are connected to the wine the branches so Jesus is saying that he is the wine and we are the branches and we have to be connected to him so that we would have our feeding that we would have the spiritual feeding so just like our physical food we need spiritual food so like a person who, who is going to the army will he have not his breakfast or his lunch before he goes to war he will have a good sum of food to have energy and just like a construction worker or any worker even anyone we will not go out unless we have something to eat or we pack something to eat on our way because we need that strength to survive that day so just like that we need God's presence we need God's feeding of spiritual food daily every day so winning the spiritual battles that we face we all need to feed on the Word of God so I have told you how interesting how important that we are 
been reading the Bible because that is our spiritual food, the bread of life, that is our living waters, the word of God. So every word that God said, that is our spiritual feeding. So every word that God said, that gives us faith and that gives us strength, that gives us the life. You know, when Jesus, God created the heaven and earth, he spoke everything into being. He said, let there be light, let there be sky, let there be birds, let there be he said animals he said and his word made creation happen and a creation life happened when god's word was spoken so now that there everything has been created and daily being created god's word is important for us because it creates this spiritual a miracle in our lives and create strength for us gives us energy to live every day spiritually and fight every battle that we may face so and um, it says that receive the word with your ears so first way we can receive the word of God that is our spiritual food and life and water we first receive it with our ears so whenever I'm talking to you hearing me as you're seeing me you're hearing me so you hear the word of God. When you listen to the worship songs, you hear the word of God. When you listen to sermons at church or in sermons online, you hear the word of God. So it's so important that we hear the word of God every day. I have told you before that every day when I get up in the morning, what I do before um, anything is I just put um, the word of God, a sermon from a preacher that I know that is speaking the word of God and I listen and I be encouraged with the faith and the strength and the word of God so or you can listen to biblegateway.com listen to it listen to the audio Bible or it's all hearing the word of God and the second one is read the word with your eyes so the second one is, is I take the Bible online or I take the Bible the physical Bible and I look at it with my eyes I'm reading it so with my eyes I see the words and I'm reading the Word of God first one hear the Word of God and the second one see with your eyes and read the Word of God it is more so important and vital that you read the Word of God and the next one is research the Word of God with your hands and your mouth that is studying the Word of God so have a pencil with you if you have a Bible highlight whatever you like you want to remember and remember research and you want to find out more about it just highlight those or if you have an online Bible you can um, you can research of it let's say you have a word and you want to find out what it really means and you google it and you find what it means and you can have meaning for it like yesterday we did a painting Daniel and me Daniel did the veil beautifully a beautiful veil and then this whale the story the the whale represents god's god's amazing amazing powers so amazing strength amazing so what we want to do is we find we find this whale and we want to find a scripture verse for it so we found a scripture verse that's saying that this is the amazing the name of god is so amazing and powerful so we found a scripture verse so search research and that's the first sec, third one first one hear the word of god second one read the word of god and through your eyes look at it the third one is research the word of god research and study the word of god next one is reflect on the word of god with your mind think about and chew on god's word just like you're eating something and you're chewing it you have to next one is reflect about the word of god let's say whenever you're walking taking a walk and you see the nature and you remember god's scriptures or let's say you have a problem that you're facing and you suddenly remember the word of god and you're reflecting and god said that look at the birds in the air they do not need anything but god provides everything for them because they do not worry about anything so all that you are reflecting on god's when you see the creation you reflect on God's word because you know the word of God and it comes to you and you remember and you reflect on God's word next one is remember the word of God with your heart so next one is try to memorize the word of God it's so important if you read it several times 
registers in your mind and you remember and it memorizes you it memorizes so remember the word of god whenever you are in trouble remember the word of god remember when you feel like the, on the weekend we went for a hike uh, the kids and me and it was a little forest and uh, we were like kind of a little bit scared and then i remember the psalm 91 it says that god will never leave us god is our protection he was send his angels and protect us so all these scripture verses comes to your mind when you remember them when you memorize them it comes to your mind because they are registered in your mind they are registered in your heart god says those days the old testament people write the word of god on your forehead write on your um, um, bracelets write on your heart keep it in your heart because it's so important that's our spiritual bread that our spiritual water and that's a living water so i hope you were encouraged today to do these things listen to the word of god you can listen to worship songs you can read the get the audio uh, bible and hear it and you can see it and read it and you can meditate on it you can remember it you can memorize it reflect on it you can do all these things so what we have started me and my sons and my children we have started doing a painting for every day for maybe two verses from the Bible there are millions of blessing millions of promises from the Word of God so every day we take two of them and we reflect on on, on it and we memorize on it and we draw a beautiful painting on it so especially my son Daniel will do the painting and I will help him with the colors and the ideas so and then we have so much of them now more than almost more than 200 now so we do it on paper so it doesn't take so much room in our house and we love to give to people as well as a free gift and so that they can hang it in their rooms or hang it keep it with them so they remember the word of god because the word of god is so powerful it says the word of god is sharper than any two-edged sword and it's powerful and it is our spiritual food and it will help us to fight any trials any temptations anything that come against us so i hope you were encouraged today let's pray together father we come to you we thank you that you are faithful we thank you for the word of god that you have spoken over each and every one of us lord help us to meditate on it help us to read every day help us to think of it help us to reflect on it help us to memorize it lord jesus give us the soften our hearts that we would be open to listen to your word of god lord i pray for anyone who doesn't know you that they would know you they would come to know you that they would hear your word and believe and come to know you and they will repent of their sins and then they would commit their lives to you jesus i pray that who was anyone who's suffering anyone who's sick anyone who's going through hard times lord i pray that you would be with them anyone who's lonely that you comfort them that your presence would overwhelm them lord i pray that you bless everyone who's listening lord that your blessing and your goodness and your mercy and your joy would follow their lives we commit everything to you we love you jesus we give you glory we thank you in jesus name we pray amen so i hope you were encouraged today i just want to sing one song to you this is a beautiful song i've sung this song before as well but uh, it came to my mind today so i thought i'm going to sing that again to you it's from katherine mullins it's a beautiful song i will stay here for a little while until i look like the one I behold and I will pour out my wine until all of me is on the floor at your feet I will sing at your feet I will sing your name is sweet as honey your voice it sounds like the waters your eyes are full of fire fairer than the sons of man your name is pure and holy for you alone are worthy there is none beside you lord of lords king of kings so i will stay for a little while until i look like the one that i behold and i will 
pour out my vial until all of me is on the floor at your feet I will sing at your feet I will sing your name is sweet like honey your voice it sounds like the waters your eyes are full of fire fairer than the sons of man your name is pure and holy for you alone are worthy there is none beside you lord of lords king of kings so i give you all my worship i give you all my worship i give you all my worship for you alone I God. I give you all my worship. I give you all my worship. I give you all my worship. For you alone I God. It's a beautiful worship song. Saying that I will come and seek your face until you change me. So that my face will look like God's face. God's creation, God's characteristic will be on our life. That we would be the same like Jesus. That we would have a heart softened like Jesus. So this is beautiful worship song. Just saying that we will come to your presence and we will sit at your feet until you change us into your own children. So like a father has children and the children look like a father or the children has the same things like the father so we come to God and we sit at God's feet and we worship him and he will change us and mold us and take away all the things that are bad and create us into beautiful vessels and for whose glory for God's glory so I hope you were you were blessed today listening to the word and I hope that you would be encouraged. Dig into God's word. If you don't have a Bible, go to BibleGateway.com. Listen to the Bible by audio. Read the Bible. And take one word at a, one verse at a day if you want to have it simple. So I hope you were encouraged. If you have never accepted Jesus as Lord of your life, I pray that you would ask God to come into your heart and be your Lord and your Savior and you ask for forgiveness for your sins and he will wipe it all clean and make you white as snow God is so faithful he is the best thing that happened to me and I have the joy of the Lord no matter whatever situations trials that we can go through we have the joy of the Lord always because God is in us I hope you were blessed today God bless you but I want to just show you outside. Um, it looks a beautiful day. God bless you. Bye.